In today's podcast, uh, we have the director of uh, what is ISC? Uh, is it just for the UK uh, or is for the globe? Because uh, I have to pay lot and lot money for that. Rather than I go directly to the university, I have to come to ISC. So, what's the reason behind it? Uh, is this compulsory for all international and home students to go for the ISC rather direct to the university? Furthermore, what are the courses you are offering? Mm, how many? Uh, why should a student have to join Huddersfield ISC? Does uh, Huddersfield ISC help the students for application? Yeah, I do. Thank you so much. It all credit goes to you because you are directing each and everything and your entire team. Uh, the way. How about the school? Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Once again, we are here with the another podcast. In today's podcast, uh, we have the director of uh, Huddersfield ISC, Madam Linda Macklin. Mm, I think it's better that uh, I start from your side. If you introduce yourself, please, mm -hmm. then we go further. Okay. Okay, hello everybody. My name is Linda McKeown and I'm Centre Director here at the International Study Centre at the University of Huddersfield. For furthermore, uh, I mean, introduction of ISC, is it just for the UK or globe? Uh, here I have to just uh, make a scenario. Uh, I was also the student of Huddersfield ISC in Group 14 in 2023. So I have to share some experience from my side and those who are looking for, for the study abroad and who are coming to the University of Huddersfield ISC. So there are some queries uh, which uh, I think every single international students have and how may they have to cope up with their studies, accommodation, financial issues and I think the biggest problem is that to accommodate yourself and cultural difference. So we're going to come up with such questions, uh, starting that with the introduction of ISC. What is ISC? Uh, is it just for the UK uh, or is for the globe? So ISC stands for International Study Centre. Um, so we're here at the University of Huddersfield and we've been here, we're about to celebrate our 15 year anniversary. That's and awesome. Yeah, so we've been here a while. We, we know what we're doing, we know how to get the best out of our international students. We cater only for international students. So we have students from all over the world. We don't work with home students. By home student, I mean somebody who's from the UK. So we only deal with international students. We are very experienced in this and um, we're here just waiting for students to come along so that we can give them a really good experience here in Huddersfield because it's a great place to study. Perfect. Uh, why the IC is uh, important or benefit of it? because uh, I have to pay lot and lot money for that rather than I go directly to the university I have to come to ISC so what's the reason behind it? So the ISC is here to help you primarily get you ready for your university studies so we're here to help you with your English first and foremost so when you're with us you do a module called AES which is Academic English Studies and that makes sure that you're able to speak, read write and listen really well in English and it prepares you for academic life at university so that you could, you're able to go into university able to put together all of your assessments and your assignments and you can do this with confidence using really good English. We also prepare students for whatever subject they're about to study at the university so for example if you're going on to do podiatry or physiotherapy or occupational therapy you would complete our health science program here and we would make sure that we cover subjects that are relevant to that area so you cover things like biology human biology a little bit of maths as well you also do social science and action which is the psychology behind um, human behavior and, and also looking at how you deal with patients things like that so that you can use your social skills appropriately so what we do is we give you a mix of modules that will prepare you for your university studies. So I just use health as an example there, but obviously if you were doing business, we would also cover modules in business that will help you become really successful in your year one or your year two, because we also offer international year one here, which allows you to go directly into year two. Um, but we offer foundation year also, which allows you to go directly into year one. Whatever you're going into, whether it's year one, year two, or even your master's program, we also offer pre-masters we are confident that we have got the subjects in our, in our programs of study that will help you prepare and give you the grounding so that when you go on to be a student at the university you're going to be successful so it's a real advantage in a way to, to home students because you've got that extra 
layer of support, yeah. which is really important. And most of our students come back to us and they say, thank you, I actually really needed that. So rather than going directly into the university, they come to us. I think it's also worth mentioning that we've got a group of people here called Progress Coaches, who you'll be familiar with. And they, um, they are here to help you with the everyday side of, of studying. So they support your academic studies. They don't teach you anything academically, but they teach you how to be a good student. They help you with settling in. They help you prepare um, for your assignments. Um, but they also help you with things that allow you to acclimatise to living in the UK, which is really important. We completely understand coming from other cultures. We uh, really admire that. We think you're all really brave. But we also know that when you get here, it can be difficult and you need to rest assured that we have got all of the procedures in place that we need to make sure that you feel comfortable when you arrive. Uh, it's a lovely thing. Uh, here I have to add one more thing because uh, as uh, I was the IC student, so I have some good experience with it. I mean, the entire IC time period was the best. And before that, I was thinking that uh, why do I have to go IC rather than direct to university? So, but once I get into the university and a week, uh, week two, I get to know about the critical learning skills. I got to know about the, I mean, the entire studies was like the prerequisite for my further studies. And I think if you want to build something, if the base of those building was, uh, I mean, if the bu building of uh, base of those building is, is strong, then the building will gonna stay for a longer time period. So I see is uh, paying that type of role in the university. And the entire staff, and as you just uh, talk about the progression champions, uh, progression coach, I think they are playing the biggest role in the for the international students because uh, I still remember that uh, when I have a meeting with them and there was a Madam Lalia, she said to me that uh, how about your cooking and all, and then I said to her I don't know about the cooking. Then she said to me that uh, whenever we have a second meeting, I'm gonna ask about the cooking. So just because of her, I started such things. And now I'm professional of it. Good. So, really, it's uh, too important, ISC, because uh, they make you stable to stand in the university. And what I have seen that uh, we have a biggest difference uh, in the studies from our home country to the UK. And here we always talk about the research methodology and the laws of uh, written, because uh, whenever we have to take uh, someone other's part, of our studies, we have to give the respect to them. We have to consent to them about their studies. So this is what I learned here. Referencing, I mean, that's too important because uh, I had been working as a professional assistant pedagogy in my home country, and I have to do some research project. But just because of this legacy, I wasn't able to do that. But at the moment, I am able to do that, and I'm gonna do further with that. Thank you so much, Map. For further, we have uh, is this compulsory for all international and home students to go for the ISC rather direct to the university? Um, yes, it is. When you when you come to study with us here in Huddersfield, you're making a commitment to stay in Huddersfield. We're just the first part of your journey at the ISC. Yeah. Like I said, we're just here to help you build that foundation, gain your confidence, gain a little bit more subject knowledge, really improve your English skills but it is a requirement that you stay here at the University of Huddersfield it's part of the package and it's really important that you're aware of that before you arrive. Uh, I feel that the importance of that ISC and as the ma'am explains everything it's really we need that. Furthermore what are the courses you are offering? What courses? Yeah. So we offer three levels we offer a foundation route which takes you directly into year one at the University we offer uh, International Year 1, which takes you into Year 2 at the University. And we offer a pre-master's programme, which takes you into your master's programme at the University. The courses that we offer at those levels, at foundation level, you can come along and you can do business with us. Or you might want to come along and do engineering, engineering rather, um, science, um, computing. You might want to study health sciences. Yeah. You might want to study art, media, architecture. So those are the main routes that we offer at foundation level. And as part of the health science, we've also got a human science um, strand, which looks at subjects like psychology and sociology, if that's the area you're interested in. For international year one, it's not as broad. We offer two main programmes. One is for business, one is for engineering and computing. 
and then at pre-master's level it's business. So we've got a lot of programs to offer here. It's really important that you do your research, you talk to your family, you talk to your friends, you talk to your agent, you talk to um, former students at the ISC to get a really good feeling for what it is you want to do because we want to make sure that when you arrive here you've met the right decision and you're on the program that you want to study so that we can then prepare you fully for university. Perfect. Thank you, ma'am. For further, we have the how many intakes do we have? What is the benefit of it? I mean, this is the major question. So we have two main intakes, one in October and one in January. This is for the Foundation and International Year One uh, intake for their programs. We also have a smaller intake in November, but the November intake is preparation to join the January intake. So it's a longer induction and it gives you more time to settle into the UK. The, the difference between the two um, intakes, basically October students have a lot longer on their program. They, they have the same teaching hours and the same teaching weeks, but they've got more holiday, they've got more time off, they've got more time to, to catch up on their study. Um, whereas the January intake is a little bit quicker, you don't have as many holidays. And uh, you, when you're here with us in January, you don't finish till August, whereas if you come in October, you finished uh, in June. So that gives you a little bit more time to prepare for moving on to the university, getting your visa. If you're a foundation student, you'll need to get your visa to continue on at the university. If you're an international year one student, you won't have to do this because you'll already have a visa that covers you for your full programme called an ICAS. So the main differences are really the length of time you're going to be in the classroom and the time that you've got to prepare to move on to the university. But it's really worth considering both those points. Thank you so much, ma'am. It's too informative for me and those who are looking forward because the new session is about to start Absolutely. by the end of it. Yeah. Mm, how many, uh, why should a student have to join Huddersfield ISC? Well, that's just an easy, easy answer to that question. Huddersfield is a great place. It's um, got lots of benefits in that it's a town. It's not actually a city. It's a very, very large yeah. town. Um, so students come here because they want a quieter way of life. There's lots to do around Huddersfield. It's surrounded by beautiful countryside. It's got a great reputation. The university itself has got an amazing reputation, particularly around employment. So students who finish at Huddersfield go on to have really good careers. It has got areas of expertise that, that can be researched pretty easy by going online and looking at the main website for the university. Um, and it's, it's just a, a really good place to study. It's also a really good place to live. It's really close to Manchester, really close to Leeds. It's only two hours from London. So you've got that opportunity to go elsewhere, whereas coming back to Huddersfield as a base and using this, this quieter, sort of smaller town um, to, to study in and, and to, to have the benefit of living really close to the university yeah. as well, which is important. We, we don't really encourage students to live very far away because commuting to the university every day um, if you're more than an hour away, that's going to be difficult and it's going to have an impact on your studies. You're probably going to end up coming late to class, etc. So you've got to be organised, get your accommodation in Huddersfield, know that it's a great place to be um, and know that it's a fantastic university with a really good reputation, really highly uh, ranked in terms of international students. So um, compared to other universities, all I can say is that I'm a former student of the University of Huddersfield. Whoa. It gave me a really good career. It, um, I came here to study my teacher training. I'd already studied a degree in psychology. I came here to do my teacher training. I got a fantastic placement, uh, such a good placement. I ended up working in this huge college uh, in a nearby city for 17 and a half years. Whoa. And then I decided I wanted to come back to the university and then I got this opportunity to be centre director here at the ISC. And that's very close to my heart. I live in Huddersfield. I came here as a student and I never left. So I think that's just a testament to what a great place it is and hopefully that helps you to understand um, why it's a good choice yeah. to come and study here. You've got a good future ahead and great opportunities. As she was explaining everything as her journey, and I have spent a year in Huddersfield and I have some memories with it. So I just want to share with it, which is uh, my starting time period was uh, that how can I accommodate my self here and how can I manage the time and everything but uh, when I comes into the university and after the induction week every single teachers helped me a lot in everything in every aspect rather than the studies because uh, when we are going for the study the teachers just focus on your studies rather than other perspective but uh, in the Huddersfield I have uh, 
found teacher are always ready to help you out but i mean whatever the queries you have whatever the question you have whatever the problems you are facing they just want to know about that they are ever ready to help you out either they are from the isc team they are from the teachers team they are from the staff even though you are the student of isc and if you have anything to do in the university you can talk to them and they can even help you in the university and i i was the isc student and once i want to visit the podiatry clinic because i am a podiatry student so i just email to the professor he is the chief of podiatry professor peter and i just uh, asked him for the visit he has uh, directly connected me to the doctor and he said to me that you can spend a day at in the podiatry clinic i mean this is the epic moment or i said that the biggest moment for me that's opportunity with which uh, university give me because uh, i think they always ask us to wear the such uniform to come in the clinic you are not allowed to come and such and such protocol we, which you have to do but uh, he didn't think about such thing he allow me and he motivate me that you are always welcome he, he didn't say to me that you are different from the university and all but they always help us and we are we have lots of access in the university either in the library gym everything i mean that's a fantastic place for study for well being for health each and everything university ever ready to help you out this is my experience does the hadasul isc help the students for application yeah i do so for their application to the isc you've got lots of help we've got an admissions team who um have counselors and advisors who are willing to give you any advice that you need obviously we also work really closely with agents and the agents work closely with the students um and pass on the information that they need so there's lots of help there with your application um also we help you at the other end of your journey yeah. if you're a foundation student we help you with your application to the university and and to get your visa there's lots of support there we completely appreciate that it's um can feel like a complicated long process there's a lot of waiting waiting for visas um that all comes with an element of of anxiety and getting a little bit stressed but all i can say to you is just be patient hang in there your visa will come true if it doesn't come true for an october intake then come and see us in january join us in january and um, don't panic there's always we have regular intakes like i've described and the, the if you've met the entry qualifications and you've been offered a position then we're here waiting for you to join us so um any help we can give you with your application we're quite happy to do that perfect thank you ma'am for this point i have to mention one more thing because uh, for further visa extension university help us a lot before our session comes to and they have conducted i think more than 12 sessions for the visa sessions and they mentally prepare us i think that's the biggest thing because if you are mentally prepared for anything you are good enough to go for further things so university help us a lot they conduct twice a twice or thrice a session in a week to just let us know about the the importance of the visa sessions and how much the visa important i mean if we do the visa session by the end of our year it will going to be harsh because the international students have a load, loss of load so home office can't tackle such situation in a good manner so they elaborate each and everything even though they help us on every single step step uh and nowadays the pre enrollment is going on is still the visa immigration team helping us for further processes so yeah they help us a lot so it's probably worth pointing out that we are the international study center but at the university we've also got the international office and what we do is we hand you over to the international office and between us and them so through our progress coaches we yeah. give you lots of advice lots of tutorials on what to do and then we hand you across to the international office who actually process your visa and process that transition over to the university so we work really well together um and we also rely on students being curious and asking questions and making sure they understand the process not just sitting back and waiting for things to happen you have to be involved in the process you have to come to those uh, progress coach sessions that we do to help understand Um, and we also invite colleagues from the international office to those sessions so that they can tell you exactly what you need to do, and then you've got to do it. Yeah. Yeah. So it's important that you take the advice, but you are independent and you act yourself in preparing yourself for uh, transition. I, I think that's the learning part because uh, they always support us. They didn't support us to 
in the I mean they they support us to help us the how many we have to do. They didn't say that we're gonna do your project. I think that's a learning project because if we do ourselves, we're gonna learn that yeah. rather than if the second person do is for his such as I mean, not me. Yeah. What did I get from that? So this is what the university. I mean that's a that's a learning process, and I had learned a lot from this from the you know, classes, from the progression coaches. Every single person helps a lot. Even though in the last session of our psychology, the professor helped us a lot, and his last uh, the pattern of essay, it really helped me for my further applications. The way he described each and everything, and he has given me the performa. That was the fantastic. Good. Thank you so much. It all credit goes to you because you are directing each and everything, and your entire team. The way everything is getting a smooth way, and you are. I mean, you are looking forward for every single student, no matter he's coming, where he's coming from, and how may their expertise, either they are good in the education or not, how, how, whoever the person, however they are, you are always able to help them. And there is one more session, which is the um, the study session, which took place in the common room. That helps a lot to the students. Yeah. Uh, I was the one of those who was there, and yeah. I got the distinction. Excellent. So. That was the marvelous session, and teachers always support me that you are good enough. You have to do this, this, this. Every single, even though in that session, always there would be a subjective teacher, those who are able to help you there. That's the because there are lots of people think about that. If they come to the university, they have to just come 50 percent, 40 percent of attendance. They are good enough to go for further mm. studies and all. No. So I still remember that in the first day of induction, every single teacher was uh, inquiring that you have to be here for 100 percent attendance. Um, how about the for the progression code because those who are those who are in the foundation or the pre masters program or foundation year one, the I mean there would be a, some result ratio. So would there be sorry result ratio? I mean how many they have to go for further studies? I mean is it okay if they come to the university and they completed their year? I mean which they have to complete the credit hours, and after completion of that those credit hours, they are directly go to the university yes. or they have to go to the exam process. And so as long as you, as long as you um, pass all of your program here, you reach a, no, a certain number of credits. The credits change from different programs. Yeah. Once you've reached all of those credits, you are eligible to progress to the university. You've met that condition that's required. Um, for some programs, it's higher than others. So if you're doing health, for example, we need you to get a little bit more yeah. in, in AAS. Um, 60 percent. 60 percent, yeah, which is everybody else has to get 50. Um, and we ex uh, expect you to get 50% in your academic subjects, so your biology and your human biology, etc. Um, most of the programs we offer here don't have that stipulation. You've got to get 50% in your AES and 40% in your um, academic subjects. So that's and once you make that, you, you can progress. But something I would like to emphasise is that we really encourage our students to pass first time. So that means passing the assessment on the first sitting. There is an opportunity to resit, but once you start getting into the trap of resitting, then you've moved on to the next semester. You've got a whole new brand set of modules um, that you are taking, and you sometimes can fall behind then on that semester because you're trying yeah. to pick up from your previous semester that you may have failed some modules on. So the message is very clear. The message is be here 100% of the time. Do what we ask you to do in terms of what your tutors give you for homework and um, outside of class reading, etc. We have Brightspace, which is our VLE, that's 24-7 learning. You can go on there to a virtual learning environment and learn 24-7, as I've said. Um, if you can do all of that, um, you will make that progression threshold. We're pretty confident on that. But you need to be very much part of the process and be independent in your learning and take it upon yourself and have your own initiative to make sure you get all of your assessments done, done really well, done on time, done correctly, um, all your own work, and um, you will make that, that progression threshold and will progress on. Thank you so much, ma'am. Uh, the last question, second last question, which is the, I mean, the session, new session is uh, about to start. Uh, in every single session, there would be an induction week. So, Lots of students ask us that the induction week is the important or not? Induction week is critical. Induction week is your first experience of the International Study Centre. It's your first experience of Huddersfield. It's your first experience for a lot of our students of the UK. 
I mentioned previously that we are in awe of our students, the fact that you come here, that you often don't know anybody in the UK. Some students do, some students don't. We treat everybody the same. We treat you as if this is your, your first experience of being with us, the International Study Centre. And in that induction week, the whole programme is designed to make you feel comfortable and to make sure that you understand what's required of you as a student here at the ISC. Um, and what it's like to live in the UK, what it's like to live in Huddersfield. So lots of people get involved in that, lots of people from across the university. We reach out to our colleagues and they come along and they give talks on lots of different things, even simple things like joining the gym. Little things like that can make people feel really more comfortable and yeah. at home. So induction is that period where you, you don't have to worry about your studies yet, you don't have to worry about the content of a, of a module. All you've got to worry about is settling in, making some new friends, feeling like you're part of our community here in the ISC and feeling like you're part of the community in Huddersfield. So it is very important that you come here for induction. Students who come for induction always say that it was worth it and that it helped them get off to a really good start in their studies. So be here for induction. Um, the evidence of it. <laughs> exactly, yes. Uh, the last question is this, uh, any advice for those who are looking forward to a study in the UK, especially in the other sphere? Any advice? My advice is to be organised. My advice is to make sure that any application is made in time, that you understand the time scale for an application to be processed, that you understand the time scale for a visa to be processed, so that you can make sure that you're in a position to book your flight, get here in advance of your studies, so you've got that time to have a look around and get a feel for what the UK is like and what a feel for for Huddersfield is like and also the University and the ISC. So get organised, get here, make sure you know what it is you're studying so that you've made the correct choice. We don't really want students to start studying a, a programme and then decide to change. Really we expect you to arrive knowing exactly what it is you want to get out of this programme and really future focused. Focus on your career, focus on what happens next, focus on employment and we'll help you uh, achieve all of those aspirations that you have. So be independent, be organised, be ready to learn, come along ready to learn, make sure you've got your laptop. We have lots of facilities online, having a laptop is paramount to your studies, you will use them in your lessons and make sure that you um, are, you've, got, you've brought with you what you need from home to remind you of home. We'll help you with introducing you to, to places around Huddersfield where you can buy food from home, maybe uh, listen to music from home, things like that. There's lots of social activities in Huddersfield that will help you acclimatise and accommodate to living here. But from you, what you need to do is you need to be organised and you need to be independent and you need to be ready. That's the thing, you have to be ready. Because I, I still remember that we are not able to put the glass of water in the kitchen. <laughs> and now at the moment we are doing each and everything. Thank you so much ma'am for your precious time, for your precious words. And I just share that uh, I was the past student. I was the student of uh, Huddersfield ISC and I request them for this broadcast. Uh, thank you so much that you accept this and you allow me to do this. And this is for all the international students, those who are looking for for a study abroad, especially in the Huddersfield. And I try my level best to share your share my experience and some international students, those who are from different countries, different cultures, and which they have explored in the Huddersfield. Uh, especially those are from the ISC, they are in my contact. So I'll try my level best to share their experiences because this is the best place which I have ever explored from the countryside, for the education perspective and if I talk about the people, the people are so lovely and nice. Uh, thank you so much ma'am that you have given me your precious time, your words and you share each and everything about the, the well-being for the students and whatever they are requiring and get to know about the importance of ISC and how may the ISC help them for their further studies. Um, well, yeah, yeah. Monis, it's, it's my pleasure, my pleasure to talk to you and you it's, it's my pleasure to share what I can about the experience at Huddersfield and if every student could be like you, it would make our world very happy. Thank you, Mom. So you've been a fantastic yes, student, you're going to have a fantastic future, I know that, <laughs> so I wish you all the best. Thank you so much, Mom. Uh, here, here I have to share one more story of Huddersfield ISC. Thank you, sorry, Mom, I've taken your two minutes. Uh, when I arrived in the university, nobody, I mean, I don't know about anyone in the Huddersfield. 
but uh, when I get to the university, university give, give me that environment and give me those people, those friends who help me a lot to grow up in such things. Even if I talk about the teachers and the staff, every single teacher, even he's my teacher, I mean, if I study with him, they respect me. Those I didn't expect, study with them, those who are not my teacher, but they still respect me as, me, as uh, I'm their students, respect me, they help me, each and everything. Uh, progression coach, they are always ever ready to you, to help you guys. Uh, every single teacher is uh, constantly looking forward for your studies, for your physical activities. Uh, I still remember that. I have joined the global ambassador. Uh, it's just because of her teacher. She seen some hidden talent in me and she said to me that I have to join this and she helped me a lot in that one. And just because of her, I got the best photographer award. It's all credit goes to her and all credit goes to her Skill ISC because they helped me a lot to grow up in such environment in the Western world because it's come second number in the entire world for the study purpose. So, at the end of it, I just said that thank you so much, man, for each and everything. Thank you so much, Hadesfield, for giving me such memories and precious time. That's all for this podcast. Inshallah, we're going to meet some another podcast till that. Very good. Take care of yourself and your lovers. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I will run, I will